High Magnificent Souls. Okay, so this is going to be a energy um, update, mid-month update. This is going to be strictly oracle cards. This is for the element of air, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This is general, but I'm going to try to be as specific as possible. All right, so let's see what's going on for you guys. We have adjacent possibilities. So there's options. Someone may have options or there's a new opportunity. We have third chakra. Someone needs to have courage to take on some new opportunities. And then we have appreciation. Someone needs to be centered in gratitude. There could be someone being very egotistical. Someone did not appreciate or value a relationship or something that they had. They were so concerned with their other options that they are not able to see that they're about to miss an opportunity. We have, yeah, for chakra, we have someone feeling um, insecure, unstable. Um, yeah, there's a missed opportunity for someone here if they don't heed the warning. Um, we definitely have a new door, a possibility, an opportunity. Some of you guys, this could be work. This is primarily a love reading, but this can definitely be work. So we have the truth. We have self-worth. Yeah. Um, self-love. Yeah, someone needs to know that they can do better, that they can have more. They deserve more. They deserve. The universe is saying we're opening doors. We're opening doors up for new opportunities, new possibilities, but someone's confused. They're wearing rose-tinted glasses, and the universe is trying to get someone to see the truth about their, um, what they deserve, what they, sh they can have. Um, but this person's insecure. This person may feel unstable. They may feel unsafe, ungrounded. Clarify. Yeah, they're in a one-sided relationship. They're staying. They're wearing rose-tinted glasses or they're under some sort of illusion or they're in denial of why they stay. Even though they have um, these opportunities or these a new doors opening, this person's not listening to their intuition. They choose to stay stuck. Yeah, the universe is trying to get this person to see or get you to see or to awaken to this opportunity, you're about to miss this. Um, ooh, you're about to miss an opportunity here. Third chakra, what's happening here? Let's clarify the third chakra. Ooh, we have rejection. So someone's scared. Does this is the solar plexus? This is the center of the ego. Your willpower, your confidence. Someone here is afraid of being rejected. Someone's afraid of loss, of losing, of failing. So someone's like, oh, I don't want to walk through that door. But what if something bad happens to me? And you're, you know, and this is like, you could have had that, you know, past experiences where you experienced loss. Maybe you experienced people taking advantage of you, maybe afraid of starting something new. But you're being guided to go towards your purpose, to um, follow divine guidance okay there's something there's something that happened it was it happened for a reason if you did experience a rejection and it happened in the past it was because your higher self was being activated the universe was trying to get you to take off rose tinted glasses or to get you to see past an ideal and different beliefs that don't serve you anymore or just to get you to see a situation and, and from a realistic standpoint you may have been connecting to someone and it was um, rooted in illusions, in idealism, or there you couldn't see someone for who they really are or situation for what it really was. And you may have been rejected, but it was part of divine purpose to get you to learn your inner strength, to help help you to change, to transform, okay, or help someone that you're connecting to do this. Um, so now the universe is saying it's time to let go and open up to something new. But I feel like this fear or this um, inability to get past um, something that happened in the past is going to cause someone to miss an important opportunity. We have an opportunity for a mutual symbiotic relationship. There is a new opportunity for you to be connected to someone that has the same values and feelings and share goals as you. Something beneficial. Um, but you're afraid of coming out of your comfort zone. You're retreating, okay? You're retreating and, and staying in, you know, closed off, um, not wanting to be hurt. I get it. Protecting yourself because someone really hurt you. But the universe is saying, hey, we're bringing in an opportunity. We don't want you to miss it. You're dealing with um, insecurities. You may be afraid. We have um, a past life soulmate maybe coming in for you. This fell. We attract soulmates based on the lessons we need for growth. Whoever you are dealing with, whoever this past life soulmate was, um, they were in your life for a reason. 
tell me about this truth over here for the adjacent possibility. You could have been dealing with someone that had multiple options. Yeah, it was part of your spiritual mission. It was a lesson. And it was all because of all unresolved soul wounds, uh, karmic patterns, inheritances. And this was all for to prepare you for a new love. Okay, so there is a new love. The truth is there's a new person coming in, but you're afraid. You're afraid of opening up to something new or a new phase in love. Okay, so let's see what's under this. Yeah, there's a new journey. You guys have a new beginning. You're needing to come out of this space of deception. You're needing to see that something doesn't resonate with you anymore. Um, the truth. What's the truth? That you need to detach from something that does not serve you. That is taking from you. All right? So appreciation is a missed opportunity card. Let's see what that's about. Yeah, you're going to regret if you don't. I feel like you're someone's regretting um, taking advantage of someone. Someone is regretting not telling someone how they feel. Um, someone is regretting treating someone less than they deserve. I feel like someone is seeing your worth now after the fact. Yeah, they were under an illusion. They were they were asleep. This is why the universe is trying to wake somebody up. Attraction Mars. This could be Aries, but this is about someone chasing um, physical surface level relationships and and sleeping on you basically sleeping on your work they know they hurt you they know they've caused you suffering i feel like this person too is holding on to anger repressed emotions this person may be upset angry resentful because something didn't work out the way they thought and they're having a hard time letting go of the memories of that so there is a need for someone to to heal self-care to raise their vibration in order for them to be able to be open to a new beginning in love a new offer this is also new values new beliefs you know when it comes to relationships um this is about self-love self-esteem someone's self-esteem has been really um been hit because they've been hurt they may have been rejected someone may have went towards someone new and you know or you could have been rejected someone may have chosen another path chosen to go through another door you are heartbroken um, and you're looking at the, the downside. You're not looking at the ha the glass half full. You're looking at the glass half empty. Um, this is a card about being grateful. This is about not paying attention. You know, I'm not going to say not paying attention because that wouldn't be fair, right? Because sometimes you can't, you can't just avoid life, right? This is about seeing the silver lining, seeing the bigger picture, showing up in gratitude regardless and being thankful for the lesson. But this is seriously about missed opportunities, saying that there could be something better out there, but you're keeping yourself stuck because you won't get over the past or because you're suffering or you're holding on to some sort of painful event. You're being asked to move forward. Be Move forward. It's about expansion. It's about awareness. Now that you have learned from the past, now it's time for you to be open to something new where you can apply what you've learned. So that you can have a new experience. Yeah. Some of you guys are, someone in here could be in a relationship, staying in a relationship, even though they're not happy, even though they know this person's lying or they just don't feel it anymore. Someone chooses to stay in the stalemate, stay in denial, stay in this dream like idealistic. This is going to work out. Someone is in a fantasy. Okay. Someone could have been chasing a fantasy as well. It's your masculine. Chasing fantasies, chasing love, I, I love in all the wrong places, but it's sex. And not seeing, not knowing the difference or not allowing themselves to be vulnerable, not allowing a relationship to get deeper, just pursuing, um, you know, just frivolous connections that just, just for self gratification. It's because this person's dealing with baggage. This person's been rejected, so they're basically coping. It's very negative coping, you guys. If this is a separation, this person's not taking it very well. They could be drinking. They could be dealing with addictions. Um, this person's trying to find some sort of gratification through, like, um, really radical attractions. So, like I said, this person could be dating, doing risky things, being very risky. Some of you guys, your mask is finding out that someone that they were investing in has chose another partner over them. Tell me about this masculine love cause someone wants to express love someone is likes you they feel 
okay, so someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So there's a conversation. There's a flirting. There's someone wanting to date. But the universe is saying this person needs to learn from their past. So this person may be acting still in the devil energy. Or this could be them being afraid of contacting you, telling you how they feel about you, telling you that they really like you. I see fun flirting. Can you tell me about fun flirting? Because I definitely see that, yeah, this person has sex addictions. They're still, they're still dealing with addiction. Some of you guys, this is fear. They're afraid of telling you how they feel. Others of you guys, this person is, is again, looking for love in all the wrong places. They are having, uh, they're in a codependent relationship. There's obsession, there's possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. They're wanting to date or secretly dating or um, there is this issue with addiction, sexual addictions. We have the chaser. We have chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment. Yeah, this person is um, acting out right now. So if you're dealing with a masculine, um, there could be a communication issue between you guys. Or he's flirting with other people online. I feel like there is someone here that wants to contact someone and tell someone how they feel. But they're afraid of being abandoned. They're keeping... Um, it's like they're not contacting you, but they're dating other people. Hmm. Um, I see paradise, happiness. Okay. Indulging. Clarify what? The, why is this love call card here? Completion, deception. Yeah, yeah. See, it's like someone needs to complete this. Someone wants to tell you how they feel, but they're holding back. It says someone is withholding information. I'm also seeing that someone's lying. Someone was lying about flirting, about connecting with someone, talking on the phone with someone. You may have caught someone. May have found someone may have looked at someone's phone and found some evidence of cheating but this person staying in this relationship because they don't want to be alone they're unhappy the happiness card is letting me know somebody is not happy this is not paradise somebody is wanting to move on wanting to be single wanting to be happily single wanting to have fun they're in a relationship that's stale or they are having fun they're looking for a, a match but they can't find any they miss you but they're just they're not contacting you this is so weird lessons of uranus yeah healing healing from heartbreak yeah freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction so this person is had this is their tendency it looks like they've just they, they they've been hurt and this is what they were doing but they got these lessons they learn they're learning from their past mistakes they're healing from this this is what they used to do they used to talk to a bunch of people they had a bunch of options something happened they were rejected or hurt. they they lost something and it could be you they lost you and they're hurt because they really they see you as their happiness and you're gone and they're healed they're 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 mourning grieving that i see them playing um your conversations over and over and over in their head someone is in deep regret for the way they treated you again they're reminiscing but i'm definitely going to tell you that someone has learning or will learn and they're and this is going to force them to make healthier choices now if this person was dating multiple people cheating lying scheming this person has learned their freaking lesson i'm also seeing too that this person um is realizing why you separated from them I think that you have triggered some sort of wound within them, but they're realizing that you had to pull away. Um, you you were protecting yourself. They This was a very karmic relationship or somebody was dealing with a karmic relationship where there was um, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Someone had to learn to love themselves. Someone had to go through this process. It was all about letting go of attachments, letting go of things that don't serve you anymore. Even if this was past, um, a past situation, even if this was an old breakup, this could be now there's a new opportunity for love, but you're like, well, but I don't know if I'm ready for new love because I was hurt in the past. But the universe is saying it's time for you to be happy. You don't have to miss this opportunity. Um, you know, maybe you don't feel ready. Um, someone may not feel ready. Someone may be uh, struggling with moving on from a, a relationship or the 
memory, okay, of a relationship. Let's get some more clarifi clarification for you guys because... <clears throat> so your masculine. Tell us about this masculine person here. Clarify the divine masculine. Wow, I have multiple... <laughs> Mutual say mighty. Okay, someone now sees you as a compatible partner. They want stability with you. I just have some of the wrong cards in this deck, so I'm going to remove them. Okay, there we go. Mutual symbiotic. This is a beneficial balance connection. Is this re re reciprocity? Is this person wanting to rep um, reciprocate now? Are they seeing your worth after it's too late? Clarify. There we go. Yeah. We have release, surrender, and purge. Stalemate. This person needed to release a stalemate relationship or they were avoiding you. Right, and creating a uh, stagnancy or stalemate situation because they were having a hard time releasing. What were they having a hard time releasing? Um, something that they have they went through because I see here that they need to forgive. Um, yeah, see, they're confused. They're having a hard time forgiving themselves or forgiving. I feel like this is because they've been abandoned. Someone left them. It, either you left them or somebody else. But this is triggering this massive, but this is part of their lesson. They left you. Let's get some messages from the Hidden Truth Oracle Day. I'm also seeing too that someone here, yeah, I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, they're mad. They're upset because you're leaving them. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person's hurting. Someone is leaving this person behind. They're missing an opportunity. They had options. They were cheating. And now that you want to walk away, now this person sees your worth. Now this person sees your value. See, you don't know how hard it was for me to let you go. They're struggling. They're regretting. Either they're regretting choosing another person over you for lying to you, cheating on you. Um, they were under some sort of illusion. They thought somebody was their mutual symbiotic. They thought somebody was more in alignment to them but they did they they had someone that they were mirroring that, that had the same values and beliefs even if they were toxic even if they were skewed but they had to release that person or that person release them um because the universe intervened here with some sort of secret being revealed yeah we had divine timing timing wasn't right for some of you guys this was why this is this situation was delayed it could be because this person was on in a commitment this person was dealing with a work situation or there was a karmic contract that they had to fulfill first. They needed to learn self-love. This person needed to go through a, a, a transformation so they can have new intentions. They may have been operating from a very negative space at some point, but they're learning a powerful lesson. Why? Um, an earth sign and a fire sign. Um, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Ace of Air. Wow. Triangulation, Earth, Fire, and Air. There was a third party situation. Um, they went towards an Earth sign, Air. Okay, this is your reading. Okay. Or your Earth person went towards a Fire sign. But someone chose another partner, but they're regretting doing that. They left you and chose an Earth sign over you. Or your Earth sign chose the Fire sign. Um, or your air sign chose a fire sign because I see that these are two options for some of you guys this person had two options an earth and a, and a fire others of you guys this person chose an earth sign um, and it was because of their ego they thought this person was their wish fulfillment but it's not they're regretting that fucking decision wow they want they, they wish they never did that the tower they wish they never did that. They sabotage a relationship. They miss an opportunity with you. Yeah. Damn. Now they want to come back. Okay. Now they want to come back. But you may be the one avoiding this person. You may be the person that you may be the one that's looking at going towards something new. Um, but you're struggling. You're confused. You don't know what to do. 
Um, it looks like your advice is to detach and to be oh, to be honest with yourself. What's the truth? What's the truth for air? What's the truth? This is a disharmonious connection, feminine, or you're in conflict. It's like you need to make a decision. You might be struggling between two people. Someone may be struggling between two women. Um, or there is a, a conflict, okay, between you and another person. Um, we have an opportunity here, but you're in conflict. Um, it could be because you're not you're unable to forgive the past. You're unable to forgive the deception. Um, there is separation on the table. So some of you guys are considering divorce, whether it be your spouse wanting to divorce you, male or female, or you wanting to divorce somebody else. This could be the third person. I mean, the other person, right? This could be your person of interest thinking about divorcing. Um, I have a fire sign. Okay. Someone is confused between a fire and earth. Some of you guys are air and you. someone chose an earth sign over you. And this is your perception. And if they did, they're going to freaking regret that shit. Oh, big time. What's the truth? Someone is wearing a false mask. Okay. Yeah. Someone was lying the whole time. I want to be more than friends, but I left you before you can leave me. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So those are your messages, Air. Please let me know if this resonates. Leave me a comment below. Please like the um, reading if it does resonate. Please subscribe um, if it resonates with you. And um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. I thank you for your support. Bye.